Hey friends, Austin Leibel here with another video in our Write T-SQL Like a Pro series. Today we're talking about CTEs or common table expressions. Let's get into it. Again, my name is Austin Liable. I work for Pragmatic Works, and we do training on Microsoft products like SQL, like the Power Platform, like Azure. So if you're interested, definitely check out our links in the bio, and we can uh, give you some great training on whether you're working with SQL or it's a uh, Power BI project, we can help you out with that. Today, we're gonna be talking about common table expressions, otherwise known as CTEs, inside of the Microsoft T-SQL product. A common table expression is a SQL named temporary results set that you can reference inside of like a select statement or an insert update delete statement for modifying data. It acts as a substitute for a derived table and then it provides a named readable expression for use within different complex subqueries. So T CTEs are going to be defined with a with statement and they're also followed by the select insert update or delete statement that uses the CTE. So you can't really go through and just run a CTE and uh, have it appear later down the road. It's not an object in your database. It's a virtual table that you're able to go through and utilize in a result set specifically to be able to look at a different join pattern uh, inside of SQL. Let's head over now to SSMS and look at a few different examples of some left outer join cases versus a CTE. Let's head there now. All right, so I am inside of SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio, and I have pre-written a couple different SQL queries that we're gonna look at and see the differences between them. So this is a left outer joins. This is going to be taking everything from the left side of my join and just the connections on the inner join side of my right side of my join. So we're gonna be working through some different examples of how we can go through and look at SQL returns with joins, looking at left outer joins versus a CTE. So this goes to our sales.customer table and it does a left outer join with the sales.sales order header table. So I have the tables alias, I have the on condition run. So let's go ahead and run this now and see just a very basic example of a left outer join. So this is our result set. We are returning 32,166 records for ourselves, and that's great. Another way we could potentially have written this though is with a CTE. Now typically CTEs are going to be reserved for more complex queries, but just as a basic example to start with, I wanna show you what one can look like uh, just to understand the process. So this is going to return the same exact object and the same result results as what I looked at in the last uh, SQL request. So this starts with a with statement. It says with the list of customers. So I get to specify what my temporary object in my database is called. I'm going to call this list of customers to return a list of all of my customers from sales.customer. So we start with the with, we name the object and then we specify what the CTE is going to be referred to as. So this is just going to be select star from sales.customer. So this inner query here, the subquery if you will, can be run by itself. So I can go through and get the results for all the different results from sales.customer. But I can also go through and do a left outer join and the left side of the join is going to be the, the list of customers and the right side of the join is going to be sales.sales order header. Very similar to what we did in the previous SQL request, but this is going to be a slightly different pattern to it. So once we establish what the list of customers is going to be, I need to go through and also say where, how I wanna do this join. So I want to do a select star from list of customers from this object right here, which is just a select star from sales.customer, and then left out or join that with sales.salesorder header, and then of course still do my on condition. Inside of my on condition, you'll notice that list of customers is specified as a common table expression. So SQL Server knows that we are going to be writing and using a common table expression. Now, one thing I cannot do inside of here, if I want to go through and just select star from list of customers and I execute this, this is not going to work. This list of customers only exists in the SQL batch that I'm going to run with this right here, with this with statement and everything up here. So I can't really specify that unless I highlight the with statement and then in my subquery here as well. I go through and execute that and I can return it and I get that 19,000 
820 records. But again, we're wanting to do a left outer join here and just show a different pattern for working with that. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna highlight all of this and I'm gonna execute that query. And now I get my 32,166 records just as an alternative to this result where I got the same number of records. Now let's look at a use case for if we are wanting to work with maybe a more complex issue with SQL, right? So let's say we get a request that says we want to have a query return that has all of the different products that we sell for our company with an order quantity, even if the product has not been sold, but we want to see the order quantity greater than five. We want to get a list of all the products, but we want to see the order quantity greater than five. And these kind of uh, two different requests are a little bit conflicting here. So there's a right way to do this and a wrong way to do this and then there's a CTE way to do this that makes it a lot easier. Let's head on over to uh, SSMS and do this one now. So to start with, we're going to show you how this is a wrong way to return this for ourselves. So this method removes the other products. This removes all the products that we don't meet those specific requirements here because of the order of execution. So the from and the join are going to execute before the where clause does. So if I highlight this and go ahead and run this batch here, I get 10,000 225 records, but this is going to remove the records after the join occurs. So the way I would actually want to go through and write this with a left outer join instead of using this where clause here would be to use the and clause. So I would say left outer join sales dot sales order detail do my join condition and then say and SOD dot order quantity is greater than five. So if I go through and run this again, what I'm getting here is 10,500 in two records. I go back to this, 10,225, we're missing about 200 or so records. So that is not gonna be a good result for ourselves. Now, maybe you don't understand that, or maybe you have some people in your organization who need some help kind of understanding the concepts of how a SQL server executes. Well, a CTE would be a great use case for how to avoid this problem to begin with. Let's look at the CTE I made. So this is going to call a CTE named orders. And orders is going to be composed of a select these specific columns from sales dot sales order detail where our order quantity is greater than five. So I can go through and run this specific statement here to get a list of all those sales there, 10,225. But what I'm gonna do here is instead of writing out my left outer join like we did in this last, this is the way we could do it. It works, it returns for us, but again, maybe it's not the easiest one to read. This CTE is gonna go through, specify what orders is, it's that select in the from SOD, sales order detail, where the order quantity is greater than five. We're gonna use that in our left outer join down here, and then we have to highlight everything again because we're using that CTE. And we'll go through, run that, and we'll get back our records for ourselves, 10,502. CTEs make things a lot more readable, easier to use. You can specify exactly what you want to be in one side of your join, and then you can use that in your left join for yourself. This has just been a, a basic demonstration on how to use CTEs. There's a lot more complex demonstrations you could go through, but hopefully this has helped you out to understand what a common table expression is, how you can use it. So go check out your SQL Server now and start working on these things right away. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you're interested in some more T-SQL training, definitely check out our on-demand learning platform where you can go through and gain some knowledge on CTEs and other query patterns as well. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.